All right, all right, all right. What's going on, guys? Oh my goodness, it's been such a long time since I even stream on this platform. But uh, anyway, I'm not gonna waste anybody's time here. Obviously, we are gonna get into Lost Judgment. Um, from the channel, I've been always, and I've been playing uh, Yakuza like a dragon and loved it. Saw that Judgment, uh, Lost Judgment was gonna come out, so I jumped on Judgment right away just so that I could finish it right before Lost Judgment comes out. So, um, and here we are, two weeks later, right? We are here. Um, I am doing something a little bit different uh, this time. Um, so instead of doing the uh, normal playthrough, uh, I'm gonna you know just do it live and hopefully uh, have some of you guys come in and uh, just say hi. Uh, I think it's you know it's it's great to kind of just share uh, right on the spot uh, versus just me playing by myself and just doing the playthrough. And so I think this is the best, a great way to um, just to get you know things rolling and. Uh, and be a little bit more interactive with you guys. Anyway, um, uh, logistic out of the way. Uh, uh, first and foremost, um, thank you guys for, for being here. And uh, after the stream, everything will be down in the description as far as timestamp. So because the stream, it's not as um, organized as a, you know, a regular upload. So I don't want to waste you guys time. Uh, and uh, that's why I have uh, timestamps but it's only gonna show up after the stream and um, that way you can just kind of click through and see where you want to um, watch uh, you know because it's a stream so it's gonna you know drag on like me talking right now rambling on and on so uh, yeah um, to, just to, get, to catch you guys up to speed I've recently uploaded the uh, prologue for Lost Judgment um, it's on the site uh, it's on the, yeah it's on this passion fruit gaming uh, site and uh, I think it's trying to um, get the HD version out for you guys and um, and then uh, you're probably gonna miss a little bit of part right after the prologue which will basically just getting uh, Yagami to Yokohama Ichincho so that was you know that was where uh, that was where Ichiban, Kasuka, uh, you know, had this whole Like a Dragon series there. So um, it'll be nice to kind of just dive in and then be in Ichincho too. So it's so cool. I mean, I just like, I'm just like so excited about this. And um, right now we have already arrived in Yokohama. We got to get to Yokohama 99. I spent a little bit of time offline uh, just to level up some of the just gathered some gear and trying to get some SP points just by walking around and looking for you know gangsters to to whack them trying to get back in the groove and learning a couple new moves there is a new style called uh, snake which is really cool it's more of a, a dodge parry um, counter that's that that kind of a thing and it's pretty cool I've been enjoying it anyway without any further ado let's uh, let's hop right on in okay Let's do this, guys. All right, let's go. So we basically, so I've spent quite a lot of time on the street here. Just so that I can rack up some uh, skill points. As you can see, I got 9,000 at the moment. Which I can dunk it into some of these skills. Um, and uh, But what I really wanted to do instead is actually spend it on more of the investigating stuff. Because I noticed that it actually helps you out quite a bit to get the investigation move along a lot quicker. Then spend it on the uh, fighting. And so I am going to dump it into um, Master of Deception. I noticed that was a bit tough. So let's grab that one. And uh, if there's one that is uh, involved, um, where would it be? Involved in the. 
Uh, Silent Destroyer. There's, there's another one I want to get is shift, uh, blame shifter. Um, so if you wreck a restaurant, um, I guess you can still get kudos from those places. Anyway, um, so there's 4,000 SP left. I am going to, let me see here. Um, I'm going to get some of these, uh, for kicks, I guess. I've been really enjoying the snake. Um, reverse choke. Uh, sure. All right, cool. Oh, evasive blow. I should have gotten that, huh? All right, cool. Let's go. Oops. Oh. So these things here, you can just pick up and then uh, look for an NPC, someone that's here we go. Excuse me. Just another way to earn um, items. All right, let's waste no time. Oh wait, they already detected me, didn't they? I've been really enjoying the snake thing. What a waste. Style. Alright. I gotta say, being here brings back uh, so much memories with like a dragon. With Ichiban. Wait, is it here? Nope. It's... Where is it? Right. Here we go. Yokohama 99. Yep, yeah, that's the place. Wow, not too shabby, guys. Look more fancy than uh, Yagami's place. The man of the hour, Yagamishi. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First, he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. Oh boy, I got some new moves. Oh shit. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. Kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? <laughs> Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. 
It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, <laughs> and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liumang. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. But they're stirring up <laughs> shit as we speak. Gotta love Kaido, man. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable. But none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. <laughs> this leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. <laughs> that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. Then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, Nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice, a necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. Oh, it's material. It's bullying. Man, Looks that's like a whole you guys lot. have been doing your homework. Tsukumo kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. He's reading this much more problem is we really get back. Here's mm. another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. <laughs> you guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. 
Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Some new activities. Oh, we could take the taxi, huh? Nah. Let's do scenic route. Let's pick. Let's pick a fight with these guys. Well, how about the other one? Let me see. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, fuck tissue. Oh, your mind's there. That's also in uh, what is the other one? I uh, like a dragon. So do we get? Oh, it's on this item. A twig. <laughs> Up the, uh, up the difficulty or something. More. Great. Head up here. And Are you ditching me? <laughs> uh, the script. Hokkaido is this classic. to get rid of some of these uh, materials if I could only carry so much uh, let's see hmm let's just admire the cynic nice So much more details um, from its previous, like the reflection on the, even on like the tiles. There's more details in that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like the eyes. Uh, I don't think I can zoom in, but the eyes. Like, there's more details in the eyes. You can see, like, people. Let's go. Oh, right in front of it, too. 
Kyoinro. Looks like this is it. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come a long way. Sure. At this rate, he'll leave us in the dust. <laughs> Let's roll, Doc. That's for sure. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Ukuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school, Serio, if you've heard of it. Serio. That's the Korean side. Serio High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah, the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we did. <laughs> Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I... Perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Mm -hmm. Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened across a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually. And I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. To be honest... This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. They're making them hungry. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate... I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. You might learn a thing Man. or two from watching the master at work. Look at his skin. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. Hmm, what do I ask the chairman? Why go so far to hire a detective? The bullying is found, then what? Mind if I order back in? 
Regarding our scuffle with your student, let's go with this one. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Jeez. What happened to make Chairman doubt teachers' credibility? For sure. Mm. Ooh. It opened up a new option for me. Nice. Let's... Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, uh, where should I begin? You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. The poor boy hung himself at home. You mean, because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Mm. Wait. You were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe that but I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. Don't tell me he got picked on, too. That could have been the case, but I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. Hmm. Since I put you back, missing teacher, school spring. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Can I ask more? Yeah. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork. That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? <laughs> Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. Nope. And it's it's real too. I mean that bullying is is very real. So, we never actually resolved this, but we did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. Fine. But let me tell you one thing. 
Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The <laughs> kitty gloves are off. <laughs> <laughs> that also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? <laughs> uh, uh, let's just go with all the options here. Hey, Chairman. See if we get any trophy out enough. of it. Hmm? Oh, uh, it's very tasty. Isn't it? It's one of my personal favorites. Nothing like biting into warm, crunchy duck skin. Oh, and it's gotta be slathered in that special sauce. Are you eating okay, Yagamishi? You can place another order. If you could get back to the case, I'll make sure to keep your plate full. <laughs> oh. And he tells me to keep it professional. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is it. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Sukumo? Hmm. What else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey, waiter! I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. <laughs> uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap. Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. Right on. It's a welcoming party, remember? In that case... Man, they're doing uh, well. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm ready to order, too. New info. All right. So we got to deal with this uh, high school stuff. Pretty interesting topic, to be honest. So how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow, we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? You gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. We gotta blend in. Sounds like a plan to me. For now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. <laughs> nice. Let's see. I'm a night owl, so my work's just starting. I recommend you get some sleep for tomorrow. If you want to close your eyes for a bit, the couch is surprisingly comfortable. Uh, oh, okay, so basically this is going to be our base for the... This whole duration? Nice. <sighs> oh man, we're really done now. Hmm? What? Huh? Wait, are we gonna be able to skateboard? <sighs> this sucks. Select the lottery and boss. Since we got to do it today. Hmm. Turn I allowed. It's going for twice its original market. Yeah. Sell it twice price. That's a bit better. No way. Ah. <sighs> reselling now. Shoot. Talk about he's being against reselling. Tell that to the uh, PS5 and uh, Xbox uh, series scalpers. Nah. Huh. Huh? Oh. Yagami-san. 
Oh, nice. Are we going to get to uh, use the skateboard? That's a, that's a, that's a travel transportation. Uh, I'll ride with that. Ooh, okay, good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> hey! Even though you can ride it around the city, you can't go on sidewalks then you to skate where pedestrians yeah. are. Uh, ah. Left star figure. <laughs> oh. Oh, just huh? like the first, just like the first game. He gotta go and, and buy this this doll, I think, if I remember correctly. Me? Nah. Yeah. Right on. Can you? Pretty please. All right, let's go. Base of time, that's why he's gonna be there in just gotcha. three minutes. So I have to get there before then, okay. Uh, do you best remember? Can't skateboard on sidewalks, so be careful yeah. with your route. Oh no, hop on skateboard. See, one of the things that I complained about the first installment was the fact that you cannot um, use fast travel without going to the corner, uh, grab a taxi, or any kind of uh, transportation to make you go a little bit faster. So this is the only way, and I this is really awesome. Um, take off running with uh, hold back, and then uh, accelerate. Okay, uh, and then circle to jump. Okay. Wait, how do I, how do I ride it? Wait, where's it at? Oh, it's this way. Oh yeah, I gotta speed up too. Nice, this is kinda nice. Faster? Wait, no. Oh, wait, I don't want to. Ah, I got to hold down R2. Okay. So we have points I can get if I get there. This one right over here. Excuse me. Twenty thousand yen. Here we go. Yeah, I remember correctly. <laughs> I think just like last time, we had to face some dude as well. No way. Nasty man. <laughs> Let's go. Whack me.
There you go. Stay down. <laughs> hey. Yep. Oh. Nice. On the market to fetch you some brown. Three hundred thousand. <sighs> <laughs> I owe you one. <laughs> Boom. Finish the side case. I should call it a night. Okay. I'm right, just gonna chill here. Rest on couch. Cool. Yagamishi, remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. <laughs> they look they look more like gangsters than uh, AC workers. <laughs> a lot more details. What's up with those guys? <laughs> a lot more details they than sure the uh, like men on a uniform. Mission. But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Seiwio High. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get going. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I actually have to know where it is. Oh, never mind. Usually the map would highlight. be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. I take it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh, this place reeks of money. <laughs> uh, they are a prestigious prep school. <sighs> Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building. 
And that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Mm -hmm. huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, he'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Tom? Huh? <laughs> you should have been a con man. <laughs> Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural, buddy. Mm -hmm. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Shoe lockers. <laughs> Bet all kinds of teen drama goes down here. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Like what? That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Or challenge your <laughs> rivals to duels. Dude, what century did you go to school in? <laughs> Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. That many? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. After that, sure, let's do it. All right. Sukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. Feed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. How's things on your end? We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Tuck. Just follow my lead. Oh. First time actually following Kaido. will handle this floor. So let's go up one more. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair of stairs. <laughs> Pushing someone down them ruins their day pretty quick. You think it's really that often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. You don't say. He makes it sound like he's right. become experienced. Then let's get a camera here. <laughs> Alright, let's move up to the next floor. Yagami sheep. Are you perhaps on the second floor? 
Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Making Yagami walk upstairs. Let's see. So we're out. Spot. Still, I need to be safe. Hmm. Is that that spot is pretty obvious? Exactly, keep watch on your men's room. Uh, but I can raise more ethical questions than I care for. True. Just avoid his hole. Going up more. Hmm. The map seemed to want me to go upstairs, so I'm gonna see if that's. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, looking for something, pal. Yeah, I'm kind of busy. In case you couldn't tell. Uh. Homeboy smoking on campus? About observation mode. Uh, okay. What the? Uh, the label off. Okay. Truck with money, I can buy him at a discount. <laughs> something else. Uh, he's hiding something. What the? Smoking not allowed to go. Dude, homeboy's just smoking on the stairs. Oh, yeah, I need to get the skill where it vibrates whenever I move. I wonder if they still have that. In, uh,. Alright, does it let me... There's no other option. I think that's pretty much it. Oh. That was it, right? I don't think there's anything else. All right, I think that's it. I already need this guy out of the way. Time for interrogation. I'm pretty sure smoking's not allowed in school. Should you really be doing that here? Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Could <laughs> you uh, keep this between us? I can, but in exchange, I'm gonna need this area clear. Yeah, sure, no problem. Just. Don't tell anyone, okay? Hmm.
All right, let's go back downstairs. Meet up with uh, Kaido. Wait downstairs. Kaito side. I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I can think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably passed by without a second glance. Hey, Kaito-san. Don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, Big brain. we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> Big brain Kaido. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. Huh? Those are the kids. saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2-2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. <laughs> How do you, uh, disguise... They're facing the other way, though. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Whoa! <laughs> Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. Kaido. But nobody this notified remarks. me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. <clears throat> you know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, ma'am. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who may I ask called you here? Hmm. Uh, I already summarized to remain silent, so this is how you cheat people. Oh, we could go this route. We don't want to expose the chairman, right? We go with the, uh, guilt trip. So, this is how it's gonna be, huh? Is this how you treat people who work for you? I, I beg your pardon? You call us here, put us to work. Then you give us the third degree? Not our fault you weren't notified by your own school. Isn't it the teacher's responsibility to keep track of scheduled maintenance? But hey, what do I know? We'll just pack up and go. Uh, now, just a minute. I've been in this business a long time, and not once have I been insulted like this. We could have been in and out of here in under a minute, but whatever, your problem now. And you better believe we'll be reporting this little exchange. <laughs> Fix that camera. Oh my god, that's so close. Uh, really, there's no need to go that far. You'll be done in under a minute? 40 seconds if you like. Well, if it really is that quick, fine. Then let's just take care of it. That's 40 seconds for the young in here, but I can get it done in 35. Right, of course. Please continue as you were. And 
I apologize for grilling you like that. <laughs> Consider it water under the bridge. Why ruin our bloody relationship over a little misunderstanding? <laughs> <sighs> I suppose. Come on, Teach. No need to be so down. You know what they say. Nothing ruins a pretty face faster than a frown. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. <laughs> He's probably gonna notice. The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. <laughs> what, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good, so did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Sounds good. Ooh. 200 SP. Nope. Anything over here? Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. Nice. Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. <laughs> oh, God. You're awfully nostalgic to make that on. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. She's already? Now they're picking on a girl. Whoa, did you see that? Man, I got kids. I can't tolerate this kind of stuff, too, man. No, no, they're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, talk! Let's go kick the shit out of those punks. Exactly. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you? Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, 
We have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. I want to take them out first. Give him a nice whooping. And then talk to the chairman. That could be my option. Going down to second floor. It was 2 2, right? Yeah. saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Oh, we can still walk around, right? Sam with the bullied student. Hmm. Hey. Where is that? Uh let me put a Okay. What the someone's broke slut. The back of her hand. Hey. Indoor shoes, not much I can gather from looking at these. What the? Uh. Hmm. Let's keep here. What do you always go through the channel? Okay, I wonder if there are cats. We gotta have cats, right? I mean, let me just uh, see if I examine all the students. See, I can get some crown, like some points from this. Let me just double check, see if there's any cats. Nope, I guess can't see out. I guess that's done. This is Tsukumo, paging Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. Please come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa sensei, wasn't it? <laughs> to what do we owe <laughs> the <of>. pleasure? <laughs> All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakami san and Kaito san. I see. Very well then. I've explained the situation to Sawa Sensei, our homeroom teacher for class 2-2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? 
Yes, she's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Kodasan hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's a private school. Well, for one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend mm. to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Kodasan could be. What if there's a chance? What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? Hmm. Um, pardon me for saying so, but bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Come on, talk. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch him sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? Name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying like it's that easy. Tell me. Where does all this confidence come from? Wow. <laughs> you think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? And by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope, she's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. So what's this big secret you're talking about? Let me see. Uh, the bullying. But it solved everything. The victims to speak up. The onlookers are the problem. It's those students option. sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah. There's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. Then we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodasan. Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm. I can see how you arrived there. 
All right, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman? I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it, whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right, I'll check it out on the way. Okay, so we gotta go. I'm gonna pick these up real quick and then. Excuse me. Okay. It's me. <laughs> nice. The third? Wait, third? Or second? No, it's uh, second. Oh, it's the sign. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Oh, they found it. Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! Uh-oh. See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act. I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. Mm-hmm. If I go down like this, I will be average peep Tom. Come on, let's <laughs> catch him already. Stop! Hey, wait! <gasps> That's a smart move. Okay. Ooh. Are you safe, Yagamishi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? 
Nice. Sum that item up. I forgot how to climb down. Uh, hold. Okay. It's a circle. Uh. Is it this one? Wait, no. Climb down. Wait a minute. Left stick. Up or down. And then hold. Okay. It's on the other side though, right? Yeah, it's over there. Okay. Uh, I guess I can climb up and then jump on that railing. How come it doesn't work? Okay. There you go. Oh, that was weird. Just doing the same thing I did earlier. Go find a place to go. Right. <laughs> we spotted up here. Yagamichi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. Ooh. More items. Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Uh-oh. Great. Just what I needed. Where am I going? Over here? Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. <laughs> from here, use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Okay. Right. I'll try not to die. About long jumping. It looks like some of the okay, guards looks have like arrived. A <laughs> you think you can no make more it out jump. of there? I'll have to. What? Even after all? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> But for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Let's get this mission started. Better be careful here. All right. We're doing a uh, sneak around here. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo.
Am I supposed to go out that window? No, right? Oh, I have to get down. Damn. Not happening. And this was the shortest route to Class 2-2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Okay. Uh -huh. Another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. Hmm. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just <laughs> take my word for it. And let it fly. Some new mechanics. Uh, while taking cover, move your cursor over to the enemy. Press R2. Okay. You can chuck out enemies. Ah, uh, you can't take them. Like, wait, but you can't take down anyone who isn't hostile toward. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, damn. It worked like a charm. Mm -mm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Refill, huh? Wait, so am I gonna... Oh, that's a guard right there. Why is the roof crowded? <laughs> Am I supposed to just kind of walk up to him now, or...? I wait for him to... turn the other way? Close one. Can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? Yes, that's correct. You have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there. But I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that shiny thing?
Gotta watch out for that guy, huh? Probably have to cost, uh, toss a coin there. Class 2 2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Tsukumo, could you say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. <laughs> Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. Yakun and the boys. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier on lunch. Now, where have I seen that face? They need a whooping. The they yesterday. need a whooping. The guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. You've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Look, who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? Are you gonna swipe some girl's gym clothes or something? <laughs> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty ass pervert. Sick! I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Whoa. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Holy shit! Oh man! Don't let him go! Gotta get away from them, though. Just your average creeper. What? I gotta take them now? Yagamichi, you can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. <laughs> Only one way out then. Oh, 
satisfying, bro. Attack, yeah, mortal wounds, right? I gotta remember that one. Ah. Let's do this. Oh, that's a nice one. Quite satisfying. Down. This new style is very satisfying. <sighs> Should I have gone easier on them? Nah. Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it. I should head back. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. Alright, let's go. Let's see, do a quick save. I should have taken the taxi back or something. Totally forgot I'm not in, uh, um, what's the other place? I'm blanking out. Yokohama. Yeah. Oh no, uh, Kamurocho? Yeah, Kamurocho. Really, guys? Maybe I should have bumped up the uh, difficulty to hard. Wait, let's see how far am I? Oh, pretty close, okay. got arrested and put on the sex <laughs> offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. 
That way, yeah. they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Okay, it's gonna ask me to rest up. Well, you know what? I am going to end the stream right here. Um, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. And um, I was, you know, hoping to go through the whole chapter one here, but I don't know when it's gonna end. And uh, I don't want to spoil myself by looking up, you know, guides and other streams. So, um, you know, this is another way for me to test out the stream for today. Uh, see if we can pull through, you know, a uh, certain amount of uh, uh, gameplay. Uh, just through the streaming. I know it's not like 4K. I'm trying to get at least 1440 um, resolution for you guys next time. Uh, for the stream at least. And uh, of course with all the let's play and playthrough. The recorded ones are always going to be in 4K 60 FPS. And so, um, yeah, I really wanted to up the uh, quality for you guys. Uh, even on the stream. So uh, anyway, once again, thank you so much, and I will see you all, and uh, in the next um, in the next uh, stream or video. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. Oh, and also keep in mind that because it is a stream, you know things get slowed down and things like that. So I'm gonna uh, put down right after the stream. I'm gonna put down the timestamp for this particular video. You know, just to let you know which part is the actual gameplay and and what is it that just me yeah uh, rambling on all right guys i will see you guys next time peace <laughs>